In this video, you will learn how to add your own custom communication type classification for use when adding in communication entries. With an EVET practice, you have the ability to add in communication entries to document that you talked to the client and this is what you talked about. One of those methods to add these entries in is from the patient's record under patient quick links, choosing the option to add in a communication entry. When adding in these communication entries, you can specify a display name, kind of giving a little bit more description of what this is about, and down below what that conversation was. When you're adding in these communication entries, the communication type label, it defaults to general. As an option to consider for your practice is if you want your staff to be a little bit more specific on the communication type label when they're adding these in. So rather than leaving it as general, from my drop down, I can go down and say this is about a patient update rather than a lab result or just leaving it as general. And then you hit your save button. These communication types that you see in this drop down list are customizable. And to do this, you go to your gear icon, choose the communication types menu option. To add in a brand new custom communication type, click the add option. And in the new window that appears, what you want that new classification to be called international health certificate as an example and then hit your save button and now we have this new communication type added into our list of available choices for the ones that you add in yourself you will see the edit pencil beside them so you could go in and make changes if there's a typo or whatever is needed to happen for the ones that were system added so for example all the other ones that don't have an edit pencil out here you cannot make changes to those, but you can go through and delete those if they're not really anything that you're going to need to use.